Well, it's been 13 years since SDSU has beat a ranked opponent, and with their 14-7 advantage in the second quarter, it was the first time the Aztecs held a seven-point lead over a ranked opponent since 2003. Unfortunately, if you're an Aztec fan, you know what comes next. Quarterback for BYU, Max Hall, rushed in as time expired in the first half to give the Cougars a 21-14 edge. They would not look back as they beat the Aztecs 38-28 as they gained 500 yards of total offense. You know, we, uh, when, when you play the game, you got to play to win. And uh, there's an intensity it takes to play to win, and there's a demeanor you play with. And um, that's the most frustrating thing uh, because I thought uh, kids uh, prepared well. They came in with a, a great attitude. But I think at, at times we, we didn't play with, I'm going to go win. SDSU fell to 7-26 and 1 in the all-time series versus BYU with a 38-28 loss on Saturday. But there were some positives. Ryan Lynn was backed on track. He threw 298 yards through the air and three touchdowns. Vincent Brown continues to shine. He recorded his fifth 100-yard receiving game in six tries this season. And the Aztecs were within seven points of the now 16th-ranked BYU Cougars late in the fourth quarter. All that being said, head coach Brady Hoke was not impressed. Well, you know, I, I don't know how to compare it. I know what we didn't do well, and they did do well. So it's experience, it's maturity, it's <coughs> Kevin, I, you know, I, but for gosh sakes, it's football. And you, you, ought, you, you ought to know and how to go out and play football, you know, and I didn't think we went out and played football. I think we played football, but not with the confidence I'd like to see our team have. This team not having as much confidence as head coach Brady Hoke would like may be understandable, considering all the losing this program has endured over the years. But there is improvement. BYU head coach Bronco Mendenhall said after the game, I've already seen change in the players, I've seen it on film, and now I've seen it in person. At the very least, Brady Hoke is being saluted by his peers. Stand here at San Diego State University, I'm David Brickley.